What it do, y'all? This is the Brother LC, and I'm going to keep it real plain and simple. I'm looking for some support in a campaign that I'm doing called Show and Tell. I'll show you an idea like a commercial, and I'll tell you how it'll benefit people. The first idea that I want you to see is a domestic violence campaign commercials that I'm doing. Here's three of them. This wasn't in your marriage, Val. Every time I see you, you got a busted lip and you can't even explain how. You can stay silent if you want, but what's gonna happen is what I don't want. For real, it's up to you to speak up. Like call the authorities and get them locked up. I'll be right by your side. We'll be looking from a distance while you take that police ride. Remember, this is your life, your fight. Don't wait till it's too late before you lose your life. Okay, I hope you liked it and enjoyed it, the domestic violence campaign. It was three of them. Now, the last one was a nine-second commercial showing that really in every nine seconds, a woman is abused and traumatized through domestic violence. And I'm trying to look for some help to end the commercial by saying calling a 1-800 number. Now, the next commercials that I'm going to get into is a men's health, prostate cancer, all together kind of commercials. I did these commercials for Howard University. I hope you like them and enjoy and I like your feedback. Attention all men, I bring you knowledge and insight about your physical health that you shouldn't take for light. So go get them regular checkups for things you can't see like diabetes, heart disease, and HIV. I spread the word because I heard prostate cancer is killing more men. Awareness can help and self-prevention. Like exercise, don't smoke, and get hip to the five food groups seven days a week. Include these in your meals, fruits, fiber, vegetables, grains, and meats. Men have a lot of questions about prostate cancer. And some health professionals disagree about the tests and treatments that should be given for this disease because not all prostate cancers are alike. Some prostate cancers grow very quickly and can threaten a man's life. But there's other prostate cancers that grow very slowly and may never cause a man to have any major problems. While research is being done to improve testing and treatments for prostate cancer, it's recommended that men get information to help them make an informed decision. Informed decision making involves four important steps. First, a man needs to get accurate information about what prostate cancer is and he needs to understand the things that add to his personal risk. Second, he needs to make sure he understands the risks, the benefits, and the alternatives to prostate cancer screening. Third, he should actively participate in deciding what's right for him. Fourth, he should make his own personal choice based on his personal preferences and values. Hey, how you doing today, sir? Hey, how you doing? Clinton Burnside. So I'm just going around talking with different men uh, in the community to see what you know about prostate cancer. Well, what is prostate cancer? Prostate cancer is cancer that starts in the prostate. The prostate is a small walnut-sized gland that's only found in men. Okay, the prostate is responsible for producing a fluid uh, that's a part of a man's semen during ejaculation. Okay, the prostate is located below the bladder and in front of the rectum. Well, how common is prostate cancer? So one in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. Well, how do you get prostate cancer? While it's not yet known exactly what causes prostate cancer, we do know that there are several risk factors that play an important role. Risk factors such as age, diet, exercise, family history, and your race. Well, how do I know if I have prostate cancer? Men with prostate cancer may have no symptoms at all. If you do have symptoms, they may include things such as difficulty urinating, difficulty holding your urine, or even lower back pain, or pain in your hips, or even your shoulders. Well, how is prostate cancer diagnosed? 
That's a very good question. And in fact, the most common tests used include the digital rectal exam, or DRE, or the prostate-specific antigen, also known as the PSA, which is essentially a simple blood test. Well, how is prostate cancer treated? As odd as it may seem, not all cancers of the prostate require treatment. If it does require treatment, there's a number of different therapies or treatments available. Therapies include surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. Okay, I hope you like them prostate cancer men's health commercials. I have more than one, more than two. I have several of them, but just to give you an example. Okay, next coming up is uh, basically trying to tell a youth to stop smoking and basically everybody, you know, even including myself. And you'll see a show that I did in Honolulu, Hawaii, where I will go around to the schools with the American Lung Association and sing a song called Getting Smoke and basically trying to tell people, you know, that smoking can damage your health and is really no good for you. Now, I'm delivering this message to myself, too. Okay, I hope you like it and enjoy it. Thanks for helping. Here with Brother LC, getting ready to jump on board right here on stage. Check this shirt out. I love this shirt right here. Danger, poison gas. Contains over 4,000 chemicals when lit. Hey, yo, that's what you inhaling. That's what you inhaling from, um, from direct smoking and from secondhand smoke. Over four or seven thousand chemicals like copper, silver, gold, rat poison. You're going to hear me name all that in a song I'm going to hit you with called Getting Smoke. Right. And I just perform all the East Coast straight from Baltimore to our beautiful NLA state. Put your hands together for Brother LC. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's up, peoples? This the Brother LC, and welcome to the Hip Hop Health Corner. Today, I fight the war on tobacco. Why? Because it's killing people. Now, I'm not mad that you smoke, because you can do what you want to do. This is a free country. I'm not even mad because I catch secondhand smoke and can die from your smoke. Nah, that's not why I'm mad. You know what really gets me upset? Is when you run out of cigarettes to smoke. So today, I'm going to make you a cigarette. Now, since tobacco contain over 4,000 chemicals, uh, gas chamber poison and uh, rocket fuel, I couldn't bring it up here. So I've got the basics, uh, mothballs, lighter flu, ammonia, uh, fingernail polish remover, and candle wax. I got some tobacco, so we're going to set it off like this. We're going to put the tobacco on the plate, okay? We want a nice little ant pile, you know what I mean? Put the back on there. We're going to add some more, you know, because I don't want you to run out. I don't want you, you know, I don't want you to, you know, run out no cigarettes. All right. Um. Uh. uh first, I'm going to set it off with some, um, uh, yeah, round about, eh, I mean, just a little bit uh, lighter flu. We're going to pour the lighter flu on there. Yeah, that look good. We're going to, well, we're just going to add some more on there. Yeah, you know I man. Um. Okay, got mothballs. Can't forget the mothballs you inhaling. You ain't gotta have the mothballs in there. I mean, how else you gonna die? You know what I mean? Throw some mothballs on there, crumble that up like, mm, mm, mm. Alright, but the mothball, um, ammonia. What's the best way to suffocate? You know what I mean? Gotta have some ammonia up in there. Throw a little tab up in there. How about we just put like, like some more on there? Um. We want to roll it up now. Now, if you want to dry this out and you're doing this demonstration home, um, you can stick it in the oven at the temperature of 450 degrees, but I wouldn't recommend it, though. I want to roll this thing up for you, you know? I don't want to leave you hanging. You now, you can reach me at www.myspace.com, uh, the hip-hop health corner, if you, wanna, um, if you want this cigarette. Or I can meet you at Hawaii City Mall. Well, I'll be glad to, you know, deliver it to you and light it for you. So, mm. 
that's all y'all from the hip hop health corner. Oh, before I go, I got this letter that somebody wrote me five months ago. And the letter is from um, Keisha McQuaid. Keisha McQuaid from Southeast DC writes me and she says, um, Dear Brother LC, I live in the ghetto of Southeast DC Garden Village apartment and the government shut down the, the only hospital in the community. And I find myself smoking five packs of cigarette, cigarettes a day. How can I stop smoking? Well, Keisha, let me put you D. Four steps to practice to stay smoke free. One step is awareness. Once you're aware of yourself of all the chemicals that's mixed with tobacco smoke, self-consciously, yo, you'll start thinking about the chemicals you're inhaling. The second step, doing a personal inventory. Find out why you smoke, why, whether it's good or bad or whether you're feeling sad, whatever, whatever you, find out why you smoke and do a, like, do a personal inventory. Now, the third step, you know, if it's the things you can't, you know, if you, if you find out some things in life you can't do nothing about, third step is like spiritual guidance, you know what I'm saying? Find some spiritual help, pray. And if prayer works for sleeping on a park bench quick to hit you with a broken wine bottle individual like me, I know it'll work for you. The fourth step is willpower. Man, you got to wear yourself. You got to take the initiative to look with, with inside yourself. Man, you had that fourth step, willpower, or them three steps, you got four steps to practice to stay smoke-free. Every day that I wake up, I started noticing I was in mad pain. Headaches, back hurting. I ain't had no energy at all. So I started thinking, maybe if I put something in my belly, I feel a little bit better and have a little bit of energy and I can probably make it through the day. But my best thinking got me right where I'm at today. Just because something's in a category and it's labeled food, that don't mean it's always good for you. reason that soda fried chicken noodles jellies and crackers filled me up but I'm still feeling bad. I think it's time for me to do something I should have done a long time ago. Time to pay a visit to the doctor and see what's wrong with me. What's cracking y'all? This is the brother LC and this documentary is called Staying Healthy in the Hood. Learning how to exercise, eat right, and staying clean and sober so you can have a better life. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you what you have for breakfast today? Enough for a minute. I should get to work. Hey, tell the people what you have for breakfast today. Oh, this morning, yeah, I have a good breakfast. I eat a sausage with egg. Uh huh. Um, and uh, bread. Uh huh. Ah. Hey, how's it going, man? All right. Good to see you. Come on in. Go ahead and have a seat. So it's been a while since you've been in. So what brings you in today? Uh, well, for the past couple months, I've been, I've been waking up feeling tired. Uh, I've been in a lot of pain, and I just haven't had too much energy. So if I'm hearing you correctly, it sounds like you have a lot of pain, not a lot of energy, and you're just feeling real tired. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So there's a number of things that could be related to that or could cause that. So my next question would be, what are you eating? What are your diet habits? Um, well, for breakfast, I had some, I, I, I had some leftover oodles and noodles, uh, some crackers, I ate some jelly, and I drunk uh, two cans of sodas. So now, based on what you just told me, you and I both know that that's not a good breakfast. Mm. So I think one of the first things you need to do is to change what you're eating for breakfast. That will certainly help with your energy. I think you should eat more fruits and vegetables, and um, like eggs and and, and um, things like that. Things that are more, that gives you more protein. Mm -hmm. That will certainly help to increase your energy um, almost immediately. But mm -hmm. certainly, uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, I mean, I understand. You know, uh, you you eat what you're able to do, mm -hmm. what you're able to. But just consider eating some more fresh fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. and certainly starting your day that way. Okay. Uh, Try that for for a little while, and then um, we'll, I'll see you again, and we'll see if, how that improves. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. All right.
What's the half y'all? This is the brother LC. You just now seen a documentary called Staying Healthy in the Hood. And it shows me waking up, uh, me in a lot of pain, me not eating a balanced meal. And, but it also showing me making a decision to go to a doctor to see what's wrong. Um, because I made that decision to go to a doctor and to see what was wrong with my body, why was I in pain, why I wasn't feeling right, the doctor gave me advice and they told me what to do and what not to do. So um, I'm still not feeling uh, that extra spunk and that extra energy. So um, stay tuned for the next episode uh, called Staying Healthy in the Hood. Now, what you just now saw was a variety of things about me doing the show and trying to tell the youth to stop smoking. Also, a little TV show I want to put together called The Hip Hop Health Corner. Basically telling people how to, basically, you know, how to live healthy and and how to spend their EBT card and, you know, and to eat healthy and what you feel is what you put in your body. So basically, if you put junk in your body, you're going to feel like junk. Okay, last but not least is a bully campaign that I w would like to do out of the show and tell campaign. And basically, you know, every picture that you'll see is, you know, basically telling, you know, people and the youth, that's what I'm focused on, is, you know, bullying ain't cool. And if every parent can look at you know themselves and realize that the bully comes from home so you got to tell your kids bully is not bullying is not cool I'm, I'm trying to deliver this message to somebody is I'm looking at the state of mankind, you know, in the direction that it's going in. And being down here in Florida, you know, leaving ba from Baltimore, I, I, I left Baltimore, D.C., went to Hawaii. Things have happened, you know, up there in Baltimore with Freddie Gray and, you know, things was happening in D.C. Think something happened to me in Hawaii. I come down here, you know, same thing happening to black males are happening everywhere. Um reason why I'm trying to get this message to somebody to tell the government or somebody in government, man, y'all, y'all need to reflect back a message to people, you know, cause like down here in Florida to, and to just to all the youth that you've seen marching and everything five years from now, them people might be, uh, them, the kids might be 20 or 25. If you don't do something now, resentment is going to grow in them. You know, because they're looking for government to do something. And if you know, like I know, like the human behavior, I've been in like 30 states, living in like 15 of them, you know what I'm saying? And like in the black community or just around people that's not connected with what they feel inside, you know, with resentment comes hate, comes revenge. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm presenting this show and tell idea to somebody, you know what I'm saying? To... Now, you might say, well, how many ideas he got? Like I said, I'd be lying if I had one. I'd be lying if I had a million. You know what I'm saying? You just got to just gotta see, you know? Uh, you can ask me all the subjects that's under you, I can attack. You know what I'm saying? I can, you know, create signs. I can, can create commercials. Now, the commercials I created for Howard University, you know, I was under Dr. Carla Williams. I used to work as a research assistant. And, uh... You know, she, you know, she, she paid me for the commercial and everything. So I just said, I wanted to go on, on and on. She was like, well, I ain't got the money. I said, I don't care. She said, no, I'm not going to do you like that. But, you know, I understand. But a message needs to be delivered to people. And it needs to start with the youth, you know, because like I said, if you don't do it now, by the next, who I was running for president, you know, because, you know, I, I ain't, I, yeah, I ain't really got nothing to say to the one in the office. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Somebody needs to, to deliver a message. Now, whether you want to use these ideas as a campaign plan, you know, or just reflect them back to the world, it doesn't matter, you know, how you use them. Just reflect them back, you know. Show people that you care, you know. Show people that, hey, say, hey, I understand how you feel. Remind people. Like, the, here's a smoking message, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Miss Smith is going to show you what happens when you smoke, you know. Miss Smith is going to show you the, the effect of secondhand smoke. 
you know, I, it's more to all the campaigns, and I'm trying to be brief about it, and I hope you understand, and thanks for letting me share. Okay, y'all, this is the Brother LC, and I'm going to end it real simple, man. Uh, I hope you like my ideas, like the commercials, and like I said in a little documentary you just now seen, I do not like the direction of mankind, even even where I'm heading, or even where humanity is heading, man. So if you're out there and you're looking for to get mankind on a path of righteousness, just holler at me. So I'm going to leave you with this video and tell the youth to pull up their pants. I directed and shot at it. Enjoy. Yeah. This is Scorpio, Candy Multimedia. This a PSA, the generation ass out. You walk around with the ass out. Generation ass out, generation ass out. Why you walking around with your ass out? You ain't got no grind, your hand out. Generation ass out, generation ass out, generation ass out. Why you walk around with your ass out? You ain't got no hustle, got your hand out. And it's generation ass out, generation ass out, generation ass out. Jeans too tight to pull some cash out. Living your life with your ass out. Looking so lost and turned out. He said, let's turn up, but he burned out. Jeans got tighter, pants got lower. Everybody's a flower, hot flamethrower. Drown them like Noah, feed them to the sharks. Fish food, this dude, I'ma press restart. Check this out. He in the store, he wear a size 40. Shopping with his friends. But when he come out, I don't believe this shorty. Fit his ass in some 36 slams. In his shirt, he wear a 2X. Nigga squeezing a medium. Every time I see this shit, I'm laughing. They say I'm a rapper, but I'm a comedian. What the fuck? You ain't think I'ma come for you? Brain send a hashtag. Ball so uncomfortable. Don't let him front for you. Real man stand up. Teach the young generation. Respect they self. Pull it pants up. We don't wanna see your ass. If that's how you live and let your pants sag, I just want you to know that's how they flirt when they in prison. It's a shame. It's a shame. Whose fault is it? I don't know. But as sure as God is my way. Generation ass out. Why you walking around with your ass out? Generation ass out. Generation ass out. We don't wanna see your ass out. Generation ass out. Generation ass out. You ain't got no hustle, but your hand out. Generation ass out. Generation ass out. Walk around with your ass out. Generation ass out. Generation ass out. Walk around with your ass out. If you think you looking good with your ass out, you just showing crap. Truth is, we grown men. We don't even condone them. We don't even do that. Ass out generation. Kill without no hesitation. They ain't gonna get it from getting probation. They just kill their future. They all racing. Who gonna finish first? Death or jail? It's only getting worse. Cameras on everything. And when they search, where they at? <laughs> they in the jail cell. Generation ass out. Generation ass out. Why you walk around here with your ass out? Generation ass out, generation ass out. Make a mama just wanna pass out. Generation ass out, generation ass out. Why you walk around here with your ass out? Generation ass out, generation ass out. Look, all I'm saying is pull your pants up. Respect your mother, respect your grandmother. Respect the women that love you. Your father, look. Pull your fucking pants up, nigga. We don't want to see your ass. PSA. We don't want to see your ass. I hope you like my videos for my campaign, Show and Tell, which consists of signs, commercials, slogans, and inventions. I will also need some support in other commercials, such as gun control, bullying, domestic violence, pull them up. Gang violence, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, self-awareness, eating healthy, staying healthy in the hood, AIDS and HIV, life as a teenager, life as an adolescent, parenting, cancer awareness, and you've seen some of my prostate cancer commercial. That's ants working together. Oh. Carrying a big beetle. Oh. 
so so yeah so so go top people that look at that look how they working together if the oh. human race can do that yes, yes. man no telling where we'll be